It could be a game changer in fighting the coronavirus, a test with results in just a matter of minutes. It should be a very sensitive and very rapid and accurate test. Dr. David Gallus with the Pacific Northwest Research Institute is quite familiar with the test, which identifies a portion of the virus's RNA in the sample. It's not really cutting edge technology. Gallus helped develop the concepts in a California research lab about 20 years ago. At the time, they were working with a grant to try and detect substances that might be used in bioterrorism, like anthrax. And funding new and novel and uh, things well before their time is is really important. Eventually, they sold the technology to another lab who was then taken over by Abbott, who is producing the rapid test and hopes to deliver 50,000 to medical providers every day. Results don't require a traditional lab setting. It uses these small boxes about the size of a toaster. They've already been testing for illnesses like the flu and strep throat for years. Now it will be able to give a positive result for coronavirus in about five minutes and a negative result in just under 15. Dr. Gallus says beyond worried patients, it could be critical for researchers. To understand the way in which the virus spreads and to be able to model and understand what's going to happen, we need data and you need a lot of data. And the United States has been way behind on getting enough data. Dr. Gallus says it's gratifying to see the work become another tool in fighting the pandemic, but also highlights how important it is for society to support research before it's needed. They were particularly interested in this uh, bioterrorism issue, but it could have been funded from, uh, and it could have been supported for entirely other reasons, but it was really the basic work that was supported that really made the difference. Amy Marino, King 5 News.